So today I'm gonna make you guys a quick video on how much exactly it costs to do a coyote swap like this right here. So what I'm going to tell, talk to you guys about is different types of motors and how much each of those costs and how much you can do it for. I have here, for those of you who don't know, this is an F-150 5.0 motor with a Steeda cold air intake. That's pretty much it. I still got the F-150 manifold. I'm gonna switch that out eventually. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. One thing I do wanna say is with Coyote Swap, this is an S-197. Um, it's the same body style as the 1114, so S197 as well. And that, which makes the engine fall right into place like it fit in like a glove. I got, I could reuse the tire, uh, the motor mounts and everything because this is an S197, so it literally just fit right in, which is so great. Um, another thing is I'm going to make a list on the side of the screen of how much everything costs, like what each thing you have or you can get and I'm gonna list up how much everything costs and then at the end I'm gonna give you like a grand total of how much everything costs all right <coughs> so without further ado let's get on with the pricing let's get started if you guys wanted to do an f-150 5.0 versus a Mustang 5.0 I got mine from LKQ commercials here in Florida for about $2,500 so I'm, the, the price for everything I say varies. It depends on where you get it, how you get it. Like if some things are cut, like if the ECU harness was cut on mine, I had to buy another one, just things like that. So yeah, this F-150 motor cost $2,500. The Mustang one is like roughly $2,800 or $300, $3,000. It's a little bit more expensive, but so another thing that I had to buy for this coyote swap right here is the Ford FRPP coyote swap kit, the power by the hour AC unit, uh, the power by the hour front cover, the coyote alternator, motorcraft plugs, clutch pilot bearing, uh, the windage tray for this one, I switched it for the Mustang one engine gaskets and all brand new gaskets for everything that way everything was fresh everything is new that way we don't have any leaks in the future or anything like that and a cam sensor because it was broke now all of those things i just mentioned like the pilot bearing cam sensor stuff like that that's all stuff that ended up not working and that ended up being bad so Again, this is all gonna vary of how much comes with your car or not broke. So with that being said, everything I just mentioned was $5,200. So just with the motor and everything I just said was $5,200. Now some other stuff that I threw on here that you guys might have to do as well is I got a fuel filter, oil filter, oil pump, quick connect heat core, heat court hose, brake fluid, power strip fluid, trans fluid, a fuel regulator, fuel pressure sensor. I had to get the fuel rails uh, welded and everything for this coyote swap, a new thermostat, and that's pretty much it. The extra stuff like the oil filter and the quarts of oil and the coolant ended up to being about $1,000. So roughly we're at $5,200 plus $1,000, which brings you up to about $6,200 for Coyote Swap. Now, that is still gonna vary because you can get prices anywhere for different prices. There is gonna be labor after all of that. So, it was $6,200 for the Coyote Swap, roughly, not including labor. So, you have to keep that in mind. If you do it yourself, you're saving yourself a lot of money but it is pretty difficult to get everything running. Like there's a lot of wiring and everything. Like we had to literally go through every wire just to find the oil pressure gauge up there. Um, and the Speedo still doesn't work. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to get like a digital display kind of thing for a speedometer or something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to talk to Nick about that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Coyote Swap. I, got, I reused the... Um, 3650 transmission, you can always get T56 Magnum, but that's like seven grand if you build the whole thing and you get it. Like it's it's a lot of money, but you can reuse your 3650 and the only thing you have to change is your clutch and your flywheel. So 
just keep that in mind. You do need to change those two things when you do it, but you can use the 3650. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a simple swap, really. It's just it's a little expensive. Do I regret it? I do not regret it. I love this thing. It sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, I have so many plans for this thing. Speaking of plans, I have a big video for you guys coming <coughs> next on the Halloween. Um, awesome video. I can't wait. Uh, just stay tuned. I can't tell you guys what it is, but it's going to be an awesome video. You guys are definitely going to enjoy it. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. If you guys liked it and if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I just wanted to throw out a little video because I'm kind of sick. Um, and that way I'm not inactive and everything. But <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, if, let, me guys, let me know what you guys think. Or if you guys have any comments, let me know. And like always, guys, have a great day. Peace.